from the Turks. In terms of development and livelihood, Turkey is the odd one out in a region of war-shaken nations. Turkey has a population of 76 million and a territory as big as half of Mongolia. In 2013, Turkey had a gross domestic product of 830 billion US dollars, which ranked them 15th in the world and 7th in Europe. This means the GDP per capita was 12,000 US dollars. In the same year, Turkey's total exports equaled 164 billion US dollars, while their imports were 242 billion, which resulted in a trade deficit of 80 billion. Having a median age of 28, Turkey is regarded as the youngest nation in Europe. A survey reported that one-fourth of Turkey's total population live in urban areas. A half is connected to the internet and 65 million people use mobile phones, while 47.4 million have credit cards. Turkey Istanbul Şimdi bariktin seferin samha gitik başın tevin zorgan da hortir et. İstanbul hatı buhtirin harc bay. İstanbul hat bu Avrupa hatık hayudundan tarım bayırsın. Aram gorgun say kunte. Açuyun Türk olsun hamgeyin tam hat. Kite nislin bish. Metrin hacıot bayga in undir başın gort bu. Açuyun dikiğin. Arvan zorgat tam bitin sık balık tur karni sanhugin bitin ski hukşi uçatlı karoj bağa sanhugin tuğunuma. Turkey experienced an economic growth of 5% on average in the last 10 years. The government of Turkey had an external debt as low as 42% of GDP which is the third lowest debt to GDP ratio in Europe after Sweden and the Czech Republic. Turkey is the world's largest producer of hazelnuts, apricots and dried figs. Also, Turkey is the second largest producer of float glass, the fifth largest in gold and silver products and the eighth largest in shipbuilding. Furthermore, Turkey comes in third on TV exports and leads Europe through cement exports as well as production of textile and fertilizers. It is also the third biggest steel producer in Europe. Turkey is also listed as one of the top 10 tourist destinations in the world and welcomed a total of 36 million tourists in 2013. Bir de ne Natalia gibi çatın ağrısı, Peri gibi işte ne hata diret ben. İnd, bana irni umdu korun zonjides, hoş, in hatot, yurnin, in vad hoçun deruit vad Grekin otur. İndim Grekin imperiye inik bayrosun. Ota tabuhni harcaga vad hatın baycotun öderdilgan emdirdik im hat. Bu kadarı imundur bagnar hitsin. Tatsın bir hundur başın koda besin ben. Giyim hatta da turk değer. Ede tipin zor beni çay. Ya hangi ultit? Zaten o yüzden gazer tam ikh uçte gazer hudusun olmaz. İn bu kim norat açtı ben? Diyecekler norat açtın gazrasın baskat vereceğim ben. İn yumne zor yapacak. Bu in doğa bu kim in de vesen geçerce. Diyecekler turkin balonc ayıl çocuğu kucuğu balonc. İn hundur bayağıyım ben. Sirgeci bayağıyım ben. Zafuni katın zaten. Antalya gibi hatta Antalya gibi hatta diyor ne oldu? Cilt Aron sayımı sırjayım ben. Amra kaç? Çünkü Oro Aroni da Oron. Oroni diye bir arsot, Oroni diye bir Germano da ultsin bostun ultsin gud beydi. Ha ilk ölçü sıra da da sürdüğün harun cildin de tora masih. Arda hatta idin sıkın hoşçu sığım gazer ve diri de kama. Turkey boasts astonishing infrastructure such as the Istanbul Metro that connects Asia and Europe, Antalya's airports and sea resorts that have become a large tourist attraction. 
Highways connecting Ankara with other cities, a vast network of electric power distribution and their impressive waste management system. Turkey's construction and engineering companies have been taking part in building many cities worldwide and are implementing almost all of the large-scale construction projects in the Near East and Africa. Istanbul has a mini Turk in Turk the Hamgin Goy, Bagling would send Radrota, Tuni Golden Dakan Bagasrich, Indikinkte, Osarnehan Tuch, Dorsarding Radrotic Mitch, Sotlach, Tim Zerdor, Sorodin Hook to Dirch, Tirator Yagat by Rodaxi, Yamaruch Stein, Yun to Hoy Woodkin, Kuhin, Yamarsk to Hotbot Witty, Harold Har, Zerujin, Hotin Zerraim, Tostaim, Rather Hoyerlet. English is in Baitik. Utsin Bologna had your tow shot, Uri Hong Hussin Hill did. You don't get tired, brings on such. But Hema How did Turkey achieve this success? Let us have a closer look at the main factors of Turkey's rapid socio-economic growth, which is also known as Ankara's economic miracle. Foreign and economic policy. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk is credited with being the founder of the Republic of Turkey. Atatürk was a military officer during World War I. Following the defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I, he led the Turkish national movement in the Turkish War of Independence. Ataturk then embarked upon a program of political, economic and cultural reforms that enabled transforming the former Ottoman Empire into a modern and secular nation-state. Turgut Ozal, who received education in the United States, was Prime Minister of Turkey and later became President of Turkey. In the 1980s, he developed and started a policy aimed at economic liberalisation, privatisation of state enterprises, free competition in the market, international competitiveness and investment in education. This policy, commenced by Ozil, was reinforced by Turkey's current President Recep Erdogan, who served as Prime Minister from 2003 up to September 2014 after a short-term crisis in domestic politics as well as the banking sector. President Erdogan, who is also the chairman of the ruling Justice and Development Party, has carried out the gradual recovery of the banking sector and ensured regular investment in infrastructure, education, health and technology. While he was Prime Minister, Erdogan conducted an economic policy to open up Turkey's economy to the volatile region and has pursued a foreign policy aimed at making Turkey a bridge that connects Muslim countries, the United States and Europe. Furthermore, he encouraged domestic businesses to make investments abroad and supported them in acquiring soft loans. A total income of 47 billion US dollars was generated by the privatisation of state enterprises that were carried out from 2003 to 2010. Turkey has recently set a goal to become the regional leader in the competitiveness of industrial production and the service sector. The backbone of Turkey's economy is its small and medium enterprises. The hard work and steady effort of the Turkish people have helped their products and services produced domestically to gain competitiveness on international markets and attract foreign investment into almost all sectors of the economy. <music> Education policy. 
Turkey's universities and colleges are attracting an increasing number of students from Asia and Africa. Turkish high schools have been successfully set up in more than 160 countries in the world and are graduating students who are fluent in both English and Turkish languages. Many of those students come to Turkey in order to pursue higher education. A total of 1,500 Mongolian students are currently attending schools in Turkey, while approximately 3,300 Mongolians graduated from Turkish universities in the last 10 years. Many companies from knowledge-based industries such as robotics, avionics, information technology and advanced electronics trace their roots back to universities and colleges in Turkey. The Turkish government has recognised the need to improve the quality and availability of education at all levels and increase the enrolment of female students. Therefore, the government has currently started several initiatives to continue educational reform, increase investment in education and broaden the use of technology in delivering courses. Although the Turkish government is currently spending 4.5% of GDP on public education, a socialist party is demanding an increase in the education expenditures to 6% of GDP. Recently, there have been serious discussions on whether to close down university preparatory schools in Turkey. Innovation Policy Following the trends of Japan and South Korea, both of which are similar to Turkey in terms of lack of mineral wealth, Turkey has been pursuing a policy to make the best use of its geographical location, solar and wind power and geothermal resources. Turkey has also been successful in attracting foreign investment, in employing sustainable technology, developing tourism, constructing greenhouses and building pipeline transport of oil and natural gas. Turkey is building greenhouses throughout the country to grow all types of vegetables all year round and is preparing to break into not only regional but also global markets. Due to new developments in medical and sports tourism, Turkey's hotels are fully booked at all times of the year, regardless of the tourism season. The European Union is attracted to their high quality medical services, including diagnosis, rehabilitation, and oral and maxofacial surgeries. Turkey has built all kinds of sports facilities, resorts, and hotels with quality service and competitive prices that attract professional athletes from around the world. After coming back to their home country, Turks, who used to live in other European countries, and especially their children, are contributing greatly to creating a knowledge economy by making an efficient use of their education, knowledge and know-how. The Road Ahead Uncertainty is found both externally and internally that will affect Turkey's process of development. The regional instability, including the situations in the Eurozone, Near East, Syria and Iran, will produce a significant impact on Turkey's tourism industry. Also, a minimal fluctuation in oil prices would affect Turkey's economy. However, Turkey has already acquired the skills and experience that will help them manage all those risks. There is still enormous media attention on Turkey's political party has had the ruling power for 10 years and led the country to rapid development. And on Recep Erdogan, their chairman and newly elected president of the country. When he was prime minister, four ministers of his cabinet resigned after being accused of corruption early in 2014. There was also a widespread accusation on social media that Prime Minister Erdogan had overexerted his power. Twitter and YouTube were banned in Turkey for several months, which has been strongly opposed by the people especially the younger generation. 
In August, Turkey had its first ever presidential election to elect a president through direct popular vote and Prime Minister Erdogan won the election. In any case, Turkey and its hard-working people have built strong foundations for flourishing development and are looking forward to the future with great faith. This year, 2014, is the 45th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and Turkey. The peoples of the two nations have been celebrating the event and many delegates of the government and public organisations have mutually visited at all levels. Direct flights between Istanbul and Ulaanbaatar opened recently are creating foundations for great opportunities for further increasing trade, investment and tourism between the two countries.